Good day, guys. Today we created a simple Pac-Man game using Visual Studio and C Sharp. So let's start. So first, click the new project. Choose Window Form Application Visual C Sharp. Name it Pac-Man Game and click OK. In the form properties, change the following, the size by 750 to 550, the text to BIT2 if Pac-Man game and back color to black. In making the walls, we will be using four picture boxes for the walls. Find the picture box component in the toolbox and drag and drop it to the form. In the properties window, of the picture box, find the option black color and change it to blue. There is also a very important option called tab. Enter wall for this option. Make sure it's lowercase to make it easier and convenient. Just copy and paste it three times until it looks like this. Now it's time to make the post. Drag and drop another picture box to the screen. Change the size to 45 to 60 size mode to stretch image and tag to ghost. Now, we need to import all the images from our assets folder to project. In order to do so, click on the small triangle on the top right corner of the small picture box and click on the choose image. Make sure the project resource file is selected and click on import. Once you click on import, find the folder with all the images in it. Select all images and click OK. Select the red guy from the image list and click OK. Make a copy of the red guy. Follow the same steps to change it to the yellow guy. And place him between the bottom walls. Now, we have two ghosts. It's time for the crazy pink one. Now, you can make the final copy of the ghost and change the image to the pink ghost. All done placing the ghost. Now it's time to make some changes to the properties of the ghost picture boxes. Click on the red guy first. Change name option in the properties window to red ghost. Click on the yellow guy. Change the name to yellow ghost. Now to the pink guy. Change the name to pink ghost. Now to create the Pac-Man, drag and drop a new picture box to the form. Click on it and change the name to Pac-Man. Size to 50 by 50 and size mode. To stretch the image, change the image to right and then click OK.
Finally, we need to create the coin. Once again, drag and drop another picture box to the form. Change the size to 25 by 25. Change the size mode to stretch the image. And apply a tag coin to this picture box. Select the coin image and click OK. Now, you can copy and paste as many as you like. Let's do it so. Now, we need to make label to the form. Find the font option and then click on the three dots to the right. It will open this window and apply. This changes to label 1. Set bold and size to 12 and click OK. Now, the final component, find the timer component in the toolbox. Drag and drop the timer on the form. Click on the timer and apply the changes. Name to game timer and interval 20. And for adding events to the game, Click on the form and look at the form properties window. Click on the lightning bolt icon on the form. Find the key down and key up events and type in the following event names. Each time you type in the name, it will take you to the code view. Make sure to come back to the sign view and type the key is up event. We need one more event for our game and it's not in the list here. Double click on the timer icon on button of the form. So here's the code. First, we put bool int operator to make the Pac-Man and the ghost to move. And the purpose of key down and key up in the event is to make use of the arrow keys to the keyboard. We do also use declarations in the code, such as reset game and game over. Therefore, this code is quite a bit long. It do also takes time to make this game. Just enjoy watching while I'm scrolling it down. The rules of the game First, player can move up, down, left, and right Second, player will collect coins You should collect all coins and you can win the game Third, player cannot touch the wall or ghost If the player will do, it says game over Fourth, the red and yellow ghost will have static left to right movement. Fifth, the pink ghost will have a random movement which will scale across the form. And lastly, when the game is over, 
there will be a game over text. Or when the player won the game, it will show you win.